Hi there, my name is MC Oda, and welcome to my hardcore series where you get to choose my death. That's right, just like a choose your own adventure book, you get to choose how I proceed from episode to episode. However, now you're going to choose how I die. So if you missed my last episode, I had an explanation for this change, so I'm not going to repeat that. But suffice it to say, I kind of need this series to end, so I'm looking for creative, interesting, risky things to do that could result in my death. And you all had a lot of really cool ideas on how to do that. There, there were some really creative ideas, I'm telling you. But there was one common thread. It seemed like a lot of people want me to fight the dragon. Ooh, ominous rain. <laughs> Perfect timing. Well, I would love to fight the dragon this episode, but I haven't found a stronghold yet. And I don't have the eyes of Ender to unlock the portal if I did find it. So this episode, I'm going to go collect the materials that I need to get to the end and then go find a stronghold. And then if I survive that, then we can think about fighting the dragon in the next episode. All right, so let's go ahead and get this one started. Okay, so to find the stronghold and of course to unlock the end portal, I'm going to need Eyes of Ender. Well, I looked through all of my inventory and I have probably enough blaze rods. This is enough to get me 16, 18 Eyes of Ender, which should be more than enough to actually find the stronghold and unlock the portal. But I have zero Ender Pearls. None. Not a single one. So I'm going to need to get those this episode. And that means I'm going to have to go to the Nether. And a lot of you probably know what that could possibly mean. I don't often make it back from the nether alive. <laughs> I did have one other cool suggestion that I think I'm going to go with. And this was less of a risky task and more of just a situation to make the rest of the series a little more dangerous. And that suggestion came from Epic Soup Gamer. And the suggestion was to move out of my house, stop sleeping, and continue the rest of the game without ever sleeping in a bed. Which means mobs at night and phantoms eventually. So I am going to take this bed into the nether with me and we are going to have a ceremonial tossing of the bed into the lava. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Okay, well I have all of my key endermen fighting tools which are boats and a sword with looting on it and some gold boots. Alright, so now let's get into the nether and find us some ender pearls. Okay, well this looks like as good a spot as any to get rid of this bed. Oh, I hope that gas doesn't shoot me off this bridge. You know, let's get a slightly safer spot. Like, at least up on a cliff. <laughs> okay, here goes the bed. I will no longer sleep in this series. In three, two, one. Bye-bye, bed. Oh, that just doesn't feel right. <laughs> I'm already regretting this decision. <laughs> okay, let's see. I got my gold boots on, right? Okay, let's go ahead and find us some Endermen. Excuse me, piggy. Excuse me, Piggy. Mr. Piggy. Okay, let's see. Oh, Lord, the gas already. Okay. So there's the warp forest, but I think there's an easier way down to it. Um, maybe this way, I think. Oh, look at that. Right there. Come on. Get in the boat. There you go. I get one of your buddies in the boat. Whoa, I almost jumped off that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if we can get you in a boat. And you in a boat. All right, now that's how you kill Enderman. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find some more. Get in the boat. There we go. Now you guys move. Seriously? Oh, I do not want a gang of these guys attacking me. Oh, boy. Where'd you go, dude? Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of them. Wow, this is where they're all hanging out. This is like the secret Enderman gathering spot here. Oh, my God, look at them all. Oh, my gosh. You know what I can do? <laughs> Bring it on, fellas. Whoa, now where's that coming from? Oh my 
my gosh. Okay, zombie pig, you need to seriously go. Move. Go, go. Okay, you made this very stressful, buddy. You... You don't care. <laughs> okay, well, that was a whole bunch of Endermen. How many of these things did I get? 16. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, look. I got more than enough. Wow, that was quick. Okay. I just need to find the secret hiding place. That's the secret to finding Endermen, apparently. Okay, well, now I have more than enough Ender Pearls, so I think my nether travel here is done. So now, really, we just need to go find the stronghold. That was easy. <laughs> All right, I am back home from the nether, and it is, uh, it's actually morning, so that's nice. I don't have to worry about mobs right off the bat. Okay, let me, uh, let me put these boats away. To get most, I'm going to need one of them. Let's see, put all but one back. I can get rid of these gold boots. And I can start making some of these. Let's go ahead and start with, uh, let's see. We'll start with 12. How's that? And we'll save the rest of those for if I need them. All right, let's find us a stronghold. All right, let's see. We're here at home. Let's throw this first ender, eye of ender, and see where it goes. That way, mostly south. Okay, perfect. Oh, I'm going to swing way down to get these, aren't I? <laughs> Okay, let's say I'm about 800 or so blocks out. Let's go ahead and throw another one and see if it's going to keep going this direction. It is a little bit more southeast. Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Oh, look at that. Okay, and that's another few hundred more. So let's go ahead and throw another one. All right, same direction. Can I catch this one too? Nope. <laughs> uh, anything interesting in here? Anything I can use? golden apple. That's not a bad thing to take with me. That's for sure. Oh, the moon is rising. Sun is setting. This is where things start getting interesting. Okay. What we got for loot over here? Um, nothing good. Okay, cows, you kind of scared me. I thought that was a mob jumping in front of me. I mean, it was. I thought it was an evil mob. I mean, you might have been an evil cow. Anyway, I don't judge. I don't judge. Okay, let's just go ahead and try to get clear of these mobs and try to throw another Eye of Ender and see how close we're getting to this stronghold. Oh, we're going back this way. Well, I think it's going to be pretty much uh, pretty much here. All right, uh, the moon's starting to go down. Sun's coming up a little bit there. Good time to uh, go back underground, <laughs> where it doesn't matter if it's daytime. All right, let's go ahead and start digging down, and let's assume it is down here somewhere. So I think I was going to do this method right here. I'll worry about making a stair step back up when I need to. Ooh, cave. Nice. Um, well. <laughs> I probably should have brought stuff to make torches out of. That would have been smart. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I hate fighting zombies in these caves because they just summon more zombies and they upset all the other ones and I'm get, I'm going to be in a bad situation pretty quickly here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, I see too many zombies. Oh, is that sunlight? I need to stand in the sunlight. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Oh, lordy. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, oh gosh, look at them all. Holy cow, this... Okay. This is not the way I'm going to go. This is not the way I'm going to go. I can't get away from this group. Oh, I can't get away from these skeletons. Okay. Um, okay, guys, leave me alone. Okay, where's some building blocks? I need building blocks. Okay, here we 
we go. Um, okay, they're all over there. Oh, what's down here? Is that glow? Oh, it's the stronghold! <laughs> it's the stronghold! Oh, nice, nice, nice! <laughs> and let me just do this so these guys don't drop on my head somehow. Oh, cool! Okay, great! Fantastic! Okay, great! Running away from them led me right to it! Perfect! Who would have thought being a coward was a way to reach your goals? <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty cool. Another one of these. Another library, check that out. Oh, it's one of these treasure room things. These things, like, I never find these. Well, not never, but very rarely. They're these special rooms with a little treasure chest in them. Two apples. Yay. Who's in this one? Another one of those, and... Ooh, other side. That's one of the good ones. That's one of the good new ones. Nice. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of these guys. Nice. Oh, wow. Look, that was my last torch. Oh, my gosh. And look, another one of these treasure rooms. That's pretty awesome. Maybe this will have three apples in it. <laughs> An apple. Oh, some iron. Not going to pass that up. All right. Well, here is the room. And let's see. It looks like it needs 11 these I mean, okay just heard just heard zombies I want to make sure I'm not gonna get you know pushed into this lava here and I should be able to light this portal oh this feels tempting this feels really tempting but I can't do it well I mean I mean I did get the materials pretty quick and I found this pretty quick However, I didn't really come with the equipment I need to fight the dragon. So I'm definitely going to have to go back home. And let's see, it's dark up there, but I, I do need to get home and get more materials. I need to actually... Because remember, I'm trying to survive this dragon fight. I'm not just going to run in there and get killed because I'm unprepared. So let me go back home and... Um, yeah, see what we're going to need. Well, I guess uh, nighttime on the ocean ain't going to be so bad. Especially, I don't think there's been enough nights for me to get phantoms yet. So that's kind of cool. Kind of a nice, pretty ride home here at night. Okay, well that was an uneventful trip home. And now, of course, it's raining and it's nice and gloomy out here. There's my... Wow, that's kind of cool. <laughs> the lighthouse with the clouds up top. It's actually kind of neat looking. Okay, so I actually have one phantom membrane, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I think I'm going to brew me up some potions. I'm going to have to get a couple of slow fall potions and a couple of healing potions. And i got to go into the captain's quarters here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these started in here. So those are going to help for the fight. Let's see, i got a couple golden apples. i got some ender pearls. i got a pumpkin that I need to shear. Like that. Let's see, I got a couple buckets of water. I'm going to need stuff to pillar up with. Let's see if I need to get safe. I can use anything really, honestly. Go ahead and grab some cobblestone. And also, I've been liking moss because I can break that relatively quick, even with my hand if I need to. So I'm going to bring that. Uh, what else do I need? Um, really, really, what else do I need? All right, let me go ahead and get my potions. Boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. I mean, is this all I need? A am I actually prepared? I mean, gathering the materials was pretty simple and pretty quick. I could go fight the dragon right now. Well, folks, I honestly think I have everything I need. And getting to this point was pretty uneventful, so that's probably going to be pretty short. So I'm thinking I actually have time to go ahead and fight this dragon this episode. Let's do it! All right, well, half of you are probably screaming about something I forgot to bring with me. But at this point, that's just the way it's going to be. Well, we're going to fight a dragon, so this might be my last time seeing my base. I should at least say, say hi to my pets before I go. Hey, Boat Dog. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Hey, Ruby and Scar. You guys take care of each other, okay? Hopefully, I'll be back soon. I'll tell you what, guys. If I come back, I'm going to play you a little other side and let you have a little jam party. Does that sound cool? Yeah, let's do that. Army mate, the enemy second mate. Of course, I'm not going to forget you. You're so good. You're so good. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. And of course, Ed, my trusty Ed, how you doing, buddy? I am. How you doing? Um, looks like uh, these guys don't like hanging out with you too much, huh? <laughs> I do. Hopefully, I'll see you in a little bit. 
All right, well, it looks like pretty much my entire traveling there is going to be at night, so let's go ahead and get this uh, get this going, and I'll see you at the portal. Okay, here goes nothing. Here comes the dragon fight. And I know, I know, a lot of the suggestions had some interesting twists on the dragon fight, like doing it with withers and in leather and with snowballs and all kinds of things. And while those were very clever, I do want to try to survive this. And um, just me defeating the dragon on my own, while it's doable, I haven't done it without dying very often. So just going in normally equipped is, is enough of a challenge for me. <laughs> oh boy, okay, I'm, I'm already stressing out about this. Okay, let's just, let's just go. Let's just get this over with. And take the plunge. Whew, okay, well, I'm here at the island. Okay, that's good. I don't have to worry about getting to the island. All right. Oh, I hear the dragon. Where are you, dragon? Ooh. There you are. Hey, dragon. It's a... Oh, is that like the thing I got with my parrot? It's a plane. Look at the Ender Dragon. Oh! <laughs> nice. Oh, come on. There's an easy way to get this. There we go, like that. Nice. Okay, okay. I see two of them. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. What's hurting me? I might have to climb to get these. I can't hit them. So, she's floating around those two pillars, so I don't want to pillar up one of those. If I can pillar up one of these other ones and shoot them from a high. Let me try that. Let me take this potion. Just in case. Okay. Let's go ahead and start pillaring. Let's hope we make it. Okay, now there's one last one up on top of this. It's such a weird angle. Ooh, got it. Okay. Is that it? I don't see you healing. I think that might be it. So if you saw my last series where I did the three lives... I got thrown up on top of one of these pillars by accident by the dragon, and then I ended up, like, never getting hit by the dragon afterwards. And I feel like there's a strategy here of fighting this thing from on top of these pillars. Like, look at this. Like, it's not shooting at me. I can just sit here and just keep firing away. I don't have to worry about its fireballs. I think this is the strategy. I really do. Okay, there was a fireball. That, um, that hurt. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, thank you for the slow falling. Holy cow. Okay, let me heal myself. Okay, maybe that's not really the strategy. <laughs> so in my other game, I was up on one of the tallest ones, and every time it shot at me, it kind of shot up, and then the fireball would, like, miss me and, and keep going. But I think that was a lower tower, which is why it was able to shoot, like, horizontally at me. Anyway, I still think that's the strategy. I think I was when I was just on a short pillar. <laughs> and that's my theory and I'm sticking with it. Ooh, those are a couple good hits. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Who's a dragon slayer? Who's a dragon slayer? Who's a dragon slayer? It's me. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's get some of this experience. Well, that was honestly uh, not too much of a challenge. I think I finally got this dragon fight figured out. You know, don't run in close so it can't fling you in the air. And just, uh, just bide your time. Take her down slow. Well, let me head on back and see uh, see how close to home my spawn actually is. I don't even remember where I spawned. Yeah, we're not watching the credits. <laughs> oh, some more experience. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, I am actually this close. Okay, I can take this pumpkin off now. 
Okay, so this is my spawn. Okay, that's good to know that I'm this close to home. I mean, I guess it's not really going to matter unless I go to the end again. I did bring my boat, right? Hey, Ed, I told you I'd see you soon. <laughs> oh, the phantoms are finally here. Oh, you guys don't scare me now. I just I just killed a dragon. What are, what are you? You're like little flying stingrays or something. All right, well, I did it. I think that's going to wrap up this episode. I survived the first challenge. Not only did I survive the nether to actually collect the materials I needed, and I survived traveling back and forth to the stronghold at night, I killed the dragon. I killed the dragon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So now this is where I need your help. I need you to throw some more challenges at me. So like I said, at this point, the slate is wiped clean. All previous suggestions are off the board. I need brand new suggestions. So I need you to come up with a way to kill me. Put me in a legitimately risky situation, something that might be interesting and actually, you know, part of the game and uh, see if I can survive it. This is pretty cool. I wonder how long I'm gonna survive this way. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the most dangerous thing I faced in this episode were those zombies in the cave. <laughs> Heck, maybe, maybe, that's, maybe that's the risky thing is just go caving for a while. <laughs> anyway, I can't wait to see what suggestions you have. So throw those down in the comments and see if you're the lucky one who gets to choose my death. All right, well, this was a lot of fun and I look forward to seeing all your suggestions. So until next time, you take care of yourself, okay? Bye-bye.